I have here a cute little gear. Now, this little gear is part of the gear train of the late. This one is the idler and it comes right here. I think a previous owner of this machine installed this thing the wrong way. And that's why it is completely chewed up and when it spins it makes terrible rattling noises. And the ball bearings are completely cooked. That's also why I switched them. So this one is really idling but it used to be the direction change gear. I don't know how to call it. So to fix the problem all I have to do is make a new little gear like this one. How hard can it be? I think the easiest way should be to copy it here on the shaper. Install the original one on the back side so I have the spinny thing system that works and cut the new one here on the front. But because it is too small I will not cut the gear but I will cut in my hold down spinning thing system contraction here. And also this thing doesn't fit on my shaft here. So the shaper is not an option. But now that I have a milling machine and a dividing head, I think this could work much better. And I even invested some time ago in a gear cutter, which is perfectly okay for this little gear. And again, of course, as always, there is a problem. I need 25 divisions and with this plate I can't make 25 divisions. So all that's left to do is to make a new plate with 20 holes in here that I can make here on my dividing head. Using the dividing head to make a new plate for the dividing head. And this plate is 6 mm thickness, which of course I don't have. So I went to the local scrapyard again and I found this thing. So let's start cutting. This one needs to be 36. I'll tell you. That will do. To hold my part in place, to do, of course, the other side, I will make an arbor with a piece of scrapyard steel. So I can hold it here and then I have a piece of aluminium right here that I can use as a little hold down washer thing. Let's do this. What I need to make is something that looks more or less like this. This side of course will fit in the part I'm making and the other side has to fit here in this collet. And the piece of steel I'm using is very hard stuff. This is high quality and uh, of course it leaves a very nice finish. But I think it's a bit stupid to use this high quality steel just to make a part to use only once. So I'm gonna take it out and see if I can find something else. I 
did something stupid. As you can see, this part fits here now nice and tight. So normally I should be happy, right? But I'm not because this side will go in the collet and of course between the two uh, diameters I need a shoulder to rest on to prevent this part to slide further away. So I don't know. While I'm thinking of a solution for my little gear cutting problem, maybe I can show you this. This is a box that was sent to me by Tobias in Germany. And Tobias, he sends me a whole collection of toys. All kinds of high speed steel blanks, so this is going to be very useful. Now I don't know how many horses I'm going to need to push this to a piece of uh, metal, but whatever. I can use this of course to make form tools. It's going to be very handy. And he sent me this parting tool that can be used on lathe and shaper. Now the fun trick is I wanted to make one like this because it is spring loaded. So this is going to be fun to play with. And with this he also sends me two blades. And this thing, I don't know the official name, but I always call it an extended tool holder. And one of these high speed steel things fits in here as if it was made for it. So this is going to be nice. And here also a few little tools. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but these are uh, trepanning tools. That's going to be useful. There are a whole bunch of them. And this one, I wanted to make one. It's a grooving tool that we use on the lathe to make, for example, grooves for a snap ring. And in the gear I'm making, indeed I need a groove like this and this is exactly the tool I needed to make this. So Tobias, I don't know how you could know it, but this is gonna work very well to do this. And here some more little cutting tools and other stuff. This is braced on carbide, that's nice. So Tobias, in Germany, of course, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. And as you can see, I already will use one of your tools in this video. Now, the fun trick is, in his email, Tobias let me know that he recently became father. And I think having kids, for me, it was the most wonderful thing that could happen to me. So congratulations and of course I would like to dedicate this video to your newborn child. And now let's continue making little gear like this one hopefully. And in the meanwhile I also found of course a solution to my little problem. I continued to turn down this dimension here so my collar fits. No problem. All I have to do now is cut it off and make the dimension on this side, leaving a shoulder this time of course, for my brand new part here. That's all. I think I just made a nice and big washer. I also drilled the little hole in here for the locating pin and the thing fits. And it also fits right here of course. This goes together in here 
and in here. All that's left to do now is drill holes in here of course. And the easiest way to do this is of course here on the milling machine. Now I will install the dividing head vertical. So this one will be horizontal and I can drill in here. Which means taking this table off. The whole thing is installed and centered and ready to go. So let's drill 20 holes. I drilled the holes with my little spot drill because these holes need to be 4 mm. I think it's a bit pointless to spot drill them all and then drill them 4 mm if I have a 4 mm spot drill. I suppose that makes sense. And now you're gonna tell me that while I'm here I should make other holes, other rings, other combinations. And I think you're perfectly right. But with this plate I cannot make 19 divisions or 17 divisions or other divisions that we normally use on these dividing plates. Only is 20. So 20 it will be and maybe one day in the future we'll see. What I miss sometimes on this machine is a web stop for the quill. To make every time the same chamfer is of course a re really easy thing to have. So I installed here a zero on the dial and have, I have to check exactly zero and then normally I should have the same chamfer every time. That's not really easy. It may be very nice to make something, but does it work? Let's find out. This springy bit thing is always a pain. If one day you're looking for a nice example for a stupid design, here is one. Oh, shit, 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 shit.
I think it works. Conclusion. Using the dividing head to make a plate for itself is fun to do. Now, how can we make a plate if we don't have a dividing head? I don't really see the need of making a part for something that you don't have.